drowning in fabric? You're drowning in fabric. Hi everyone, happy new year 2023. I can't believe it either. Um, how are you doing? Listen, I want to tell you something. You don't ever need to worry about me if I have been absent. And I'll tell you why. I'm fine. I am just sitting around playing hearts on Microsoft, which does cheat. That has been proven. It cheats. And my life is just rolling past while I watch funny animal videos on Instagram. You don't have to worry about me except for the fact that I am a world-class time waster. So despite my not being here and despite all the sweet messages saying we miss you, is everything okay? I'm fine. Now, drowning in fabric? Of course I am. Most of this fabric I got during a field trip, a very recent field trip to Fabric Mart. And it was wonderful to get back up there. And I talked to Crystal and I talked to Julie and they had, the reason I wanted to go up is because they had a bunch of cottons in the retail store for $1.99 a yard. And I have been sewing, the last thing I sewed, baby clothes. Now, not Candace. Candace is a newlywed, she is not expecting, but there have been some friends of the family with new babies, and I got it in mind to sew a little, a little something. And I hadn't sewn baby clothes, true baby, baby clothes, in a long time. So, yes, I needed to be committed to a quiet room after getting the first outfit done. Part of that was the pattern. But I have not given this little gift yet, so I don't want to show it to you on the off, off, off chance that, that the mom might see it. I'll have to tell you about the pattern I used in an upcoming video, and I'll spill the beans on that. Anyway, it's done. I have been sewing. I sewed my daughter-in-law a robe for Christmas, and I had to get the fabric from Spoonflower. Don't start me on Spoonflower. It's a really neat idea. It's really neato that you can get all these artists there designs, you know, where they might not otherwise have exposure, and you can get any pattern or print that you love on the fabric. You can get it in a myriad of substrates, and you can actually get it as wrapping paper or wallpaper. So, I mean, it's a really cool idea, but uh, quality of the fabric and price, no. No from me. Now, why did I use spoon flour? Because Graham and Anna, who have made a cross-country move to LA from Richmond, Virginia, they have a really cute little place and they recovered their dining room chairs in fabric from spoon flour. And when Anna sent it to me, I thought it was so cute. Then I had the idea to sew her a robe. Um, not out of the cotton canvas that they used, but I got it in a stretch jersey. One of the issues was that despite this very mediocre polyester jersey costing $29 a yard, you heard that right, 
was that it came with six inches of white space. Three down one side, three down the other. That is six inches of fabric I couldn't use. So I was extremely cranky over that. However, the robe turned out really cute and she sent me a picture of her wearing it and of course they love the fact that it matches the chairs. I made them placemats. I made Carol a tunic. I made Brad a t-shirt. I sewed myself something really dumb and ugly. So, I mean, it's not anything you'd want to see. It's just a black knit top. And then these baby clothes. So, yes, I have been sewing, but I don't really have much of anything to show you. And if I don't have my fashion show for you, I just feel like I'm not interesting. I, I don't have anything for you and I don't want to waste your time, but I like the fashion shows and I'm going to do them again. I promise I will. I just have to sew everything for them, you know. But anyway, I went up to Fabric Mart recently and it was such a joy and they had a little treat for me that they were going to give me the um, floor fabrics for a dollar a yard. So I did indeed get beautiful cottons. Of course, now I'm all like, oh, well, I'm going to sew baby clothes. So I've got to get up there to see the cottons. And it's like, you sewed one baby outfit. And I'm going to show you my studio. That's another problem. I'm going to show it to you. I'll take the camera off and I'll show you that I have no room for more fabric. And, um, but you know, that doesn't stop us. When has that ever stopped us? So I said, I've got to get up there to see the cottons for baby clothes. Well, look at that. That's precious. And look at this. This is Robert Kaufman. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. So I did get, this is a total novelty print, but I am gonna make Carol, my sister, an apron out of this. It's Norman Rockwell, and it's all the funny kids from his paintings. I mean, it was a dollar a yard, so I've gotta buy it. I can't not buy it. That's, that's now how I justify buying fabric. And don't emulate me, because that is a terrible reason to buy fabric. I got this beautiful rayon chalet with palm trees on it. Oh, I got this cute cotton. It's a navy stripe. Cute baby dress, right? Um, I did pick up this ITY knit and this stuff turned out to be a panel. So I got, I believe I got four panels and I'm picturing a maxi dress. So I hope to make that happen. I got some of this beautiful Tori, Tori Richards, is that her name? This is a fish print ITY knit that I thought was super cool. I got some sweater knits and oh, this, this I think might have linen in it. Um, if I don't know if you can see the kind of slubness, slubbiness to this uh, light olive green fabric. It definitely has cotton. This, I believe, is a... No, I don't think it's a rayon chalet. It might be a polyester chalet. Because chalet, remember, that's just a type of fabric. You can have silk chalet wool chalet, rayon chalet. I think this might be in the polyester department. And what else? Oh, this looked kind of linenish too. This was sort of a loosely woven um, cotton, maybe with a little bit of linen in it. And it's got a beautiful drape. I think I, I, think I took everything off the bolt for that. Um, what else, what else, what else? Ugh. <gasps> oh, look at this. This is gorgeous. This is a rayon chalet. I loved the colors. I'm kind of nutty for anything with pink or hot pink in it. So, 
Fabric Mart was wonderful as usual. Now they wanted to give me, cause I said, oh boy, the sewing community is all a buzz about your Liberty of London. And they did indeed get it from the demise of fabric.com. How about that? Fabric.com practically disappeared overnight. And it's such a loss. It makes me very, very sad. And for a while, you could go to fabric.com after they had closed and put up their little message about we're done and thanks for being a great customer. You could still go and they had all your account information there. And I thought, oh, well, at least they've left that up. That is really helpful. Well, that's all gone now. It's all switched over to Amazon. I don't know how you feel about Amazon, but you know, they are our evil overlords. And now they have all the fabric and I don't know if they're gonna phase it out or not. At any rate, Fabric Mart did come into some fabric from that closing and they have this Liberty of London and they wanted to send some with me. They wanted to give me some because I, of course, I was blabbing about making baby clothes. And um, Crystal pointed out, she said, this Liberty Tana Lawn is so pretty for baby clothes because it's very light and soft, you know, and indeed it is. And the prints are gorgeous. It's very pricey. Um, of course, if I received some, that would be in exchange for a video highlighting it, but I didn't take any. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to do it, but I just kind of wanted to think it over. As pretty as that Tana Lawn is, it is so whisper thin. It's sheer. It is so very light. And I like, for my cottons, to have a little more body. I don't like to hold them up and, and see through them. Now, of course, if you hold them up to the light, you might be able to see shapes through them. Yeah, I can see a little, I can see light through this, but it's not sheer. And so I'm still thinking over the whole Liberty thing. They had some Liberty silks, they had some Liberty linens, and they do put them on sale. So it's an opportunity to get Liberty fabrics at a discount. So that's really good to know. Just check Fabric Mart every day because they have a sale every day. Um, I got a new cover stitch machine. <laughs> now, by the time I master that, any babies I might want to sew for will be graduating from high school. <laughs> um, it's going to be a learning curve. I got an Elna Easy Cover. It's the one with the little blue dots on the front of it. And I don't know all the ins and outs about Janome makes this and Juki makes that, but I have heard that the Elna Easy cover is very similar to a Janome cover stitch. Both of them get very high reviews and this one I'll show you the box. I haven't opened it yet because I'm a little afraid of it, but I believe this one retails for $1,100 and I happened onto eBay, my favorite place in the world to waste time and spend money. And a woman was offering it for $500. And the story was, she said, I've had it for two months. I used it once. I don't really know how to use it and I'm downsizing. And so she said it is virtually brand new. She hadn't even sent in the warranty for it yet. So I could do that. So it was $500. It was $43 to ship it to my door from North Carolina and it arrived in about two days. So it is here. It is an adventure I'm going to embark on in 2023. I also bought myself a snap kit for all those baby clothes I'm going to make. Um, and I need to learn how to use the snap kit. So good things coming. 
I do miss you. I'm never up to anything good, but I'm going to sew. I promise you, I'm gonna bring you a little fashion show in February. I'll do it. I will do it. So let me get up here and show you the studio. It'll probably make you feel really good about where you sew. Hang on. Here's a shot of the new fabric. So yeah, I sew in the dining room at my house. And when you walk in our foyer door, you kind of look over here like this. And the living room is off to the right. And then this space, which has steadily grown and grown and G-R-O-A-N over the last four years. Fabric cabinet, fabric, fabric. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cabinets of fabric there. Two more there. And we have a bunch down here with one of my Christmas poinsettias that's still going strong. And then on my little table, I'm gonna have to find room for my new cover stitch because I have two machines and my serger set up. Over here is my pressing station. I don't know what to do about the cords. They're just all down there. And there is my interfacing basket and my pressing cloth, which is silk organza. Some of Candace's artwork up there. And there you have it. And it's pretty crowded in here. But <laughs> do you see what I mean that I don't need to be adding new fabric? Okay. There's that. Let me show you the cover stitch before I bug out of here. Hang on. This is the Elna Easy cover. And I just ripped into the box. And look at this. It just looks like it's brand new. It's packed like it came straight from the store. So maybe I'll unbox that for you. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. Thanks so much for all the views and all the great feedback. And I'm going to see you soon and I'll show you those baby clothes. In the meantime, love to all and bye.